hello students we have already learned the law of definite proportion or law of constant proportion today i shall discuss a kind of numerical that can come from here so let me revisit or recall the law of definite proportion what does it say in a chemical compound the individual elements are in the same proportion by mass the example i discussed is to a what is the ratio by number? 2 is to 1. And what is the ratio by mass? 1 is to 8. Alright. Okay. Let me take a one kind of numerical. Let's say I have uh, I have suppose 180 ml of water. Alright. I have 180 ml of water. Can you tell me what is the can you tell me what is the amount of hydrogen gas in it? Right, this is the question. So, how to solve this kind of particular question? Very easy. We know that water, the ratio by mass is 1 is to 8. Alright. So, I can take the mass of hydrogen as x and this will be 8x, right? So x plus 8x, the total is 180. So 9x equal to 180. So my x is 20. So hydrogen how much? I have 20 gram. And how much will be oxygen? 8x, right? So 18 to 20, 160, not gram, ml. Question is given in ml, so 60. Right, very easy all you have to do is to know the ratio right okay now i shall give you one question to try what you can do now let's say i am giving you a particular question and the question goes like this suppose if you are given suppose you are given uh, 60 ml or suppose 60 gram of hydrogen right so the, and you need to you need to produce let's say um 800 gram of water all right so how much oxygen you need what is the amount of oxygen you need is the question understood you are being given 60 gram of hydrogen you have to produce 800 gram of water how much oxygen you need right so this is obviously based on law of definite proportion with the help of this law please try to solve this question today okay please keep practicing